Hey everybody, Max Pilot. We're back on our single player world playing Minecraft, Yogg's Gas Complete, as usual. Today we'll be doing a Mistcraft tutorial, much in the same way we did the Tinker's Construct tutorial. Because like I said in a previous video, that one, along with Tinker's Construct, I'd recorded and then had audio issues and basically lost those videos. And have to, have to go through and redo them, so we're just, that's why we're in creative mode. Now these are all the, this is all the equipment you're going to need. And Miscraft doesn't have a lot of equipment that you need to use for it. It's, you do build up a lot of other stuff though as you go, but nothing, your starting stuff actually really isn't that hard to obtain. You really just need a bunch of wood, some iron, some glass bottles, some water, some ink, a bunch of leather too, you'll need a fuck ton of leather. Anyway, so let's get started. This is a writing desk, this is where you're going to make all of your pages or copy pages that you find. Uh, it is five planks, like so. You can use any type of wood, uh, a feather, and a glass bottle. It gives you a writing desk. This is the backboard. I don't know what the backboard is used for, to be honest. I guess maybe it just gives you more spaces on the thing. I don't know. But hey, you can make one. Item frame and five, oh, five wood planks. This is your ink mixer, which is what you're going to use to make your link panels. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm having some... Sun issues today. This is what you're gonna use to make your link panels. So it's five smooth stone. I keep trying to make it out of cobblestone every time I make one of these, but that's not how that works. Five smooth stone, two oak, and one glass bottle. Book binder is what you use to make all of your books, like to, to combine all the pages and make the different ages that you're gonna go to. Five wood, three iron, like so. This is the book stand. Now these aren't necessary, they're not required, but I highly recommend having a crap ton of them, especially because they're not that expensive to make, because you're gonna they're going to be super useful once you actually start to eat traveling through ages. So you got two sticks and a plank, and it makes the book stand. And I'll show you how all these things work here in a minute. Ink vial is water and two ink sacks. Now you can substitute the ink sacks if you can find them, because it's very rare to find a black stained tree. Uh, red, I think it's red exploration? Or is it a different mod? I'll figure out what mod it is in a minute. Adds uh, different stained leaves, like different, basically different colored trees to the game, and you can use those saplings as substitute for dyes. And black is one of those. The black one's really hard to find, but if you can find it, it works amazing as a substitute for ink sacks. Because you have to have this particular ink vial for miscraft. And then... The other thing you'll need, and it's very necessary, is called an unlinked link book, which is a link panel, and I'll show you how to make that a bit in a leather, and it gives you an unlinked link book. So let's go up here to our Mistcraft hovel. As you can see, we've we we did a lot in that last video. We actually ended up going to an age where we found a lot of gold. So we made a chest for each page. Now you can actually, to store all these pages, and these are, we'll get to this in a second as well. To store all the pages, you can make things called notebooks. But I find it's easier to honestly just put them in chests. Because they, the chests hold more stuff, or they're easier to organize. One of the two. These are ages that we've made previously. These are biome pages, block pages. And just random other shit pages. I think this is where we're keeping all of our, oops, is that other age? Hmm. This is where we're keeping all of our other things, like all of our basic materials that we need. Uh, writing desk right here, this is just with the back on it. Here's your book binder, and here's your ink mixer. Now, making ages, here, let's pull this one down, for cuck, what was I doing? Making ages is actually not that difficult. Uh, we'll start now. What you'll we'll start with the first thing you'll ever make. The first major, the first one you're gonna make is gonna be a random age. And the reason why I call it random is because you're you won't you don't have any pages when you start. You don't have any descriptive pages or anything like that. So you basically just make a a panel with a like a, a link panel and use that as a book and you're you're golden. So what we're gonna do? So what you do is you put your ink vials here and it fills up this. It's like one ink vial per link panel which is a bit annoying, and then you put your paper here, and you take that, and you get your, you get your empty glass bottles back, which is pretty nice, and you get your link panel right here. Doo -doo -doo. We're going to need an unlinked link book, which I showed you how to make earlier, and we're going to need a book stand. 
stand. Now, an unlinked link book is basically a book you can use. And if you've watched the Yogg's Cast series on YouTube, you saw how they use them. Essentially, what you do is you take it and you right click on it, and it turn. It basically creates a a book that lets you teleport back to the area where you set where you basically linked that linking book. We already have our book stand there. And you definitely never go into an age without one of these. Otherwise, you're going to have to cheat to get back. Or you just can't get back. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> you could maybe probably get back through the nether. Because I'm not sure if those worlds generate their own nethers. Or if they all connect through a single nether. I'll have to test that one day. Anyways, so to make your first age, you'll you go to your ink mixer and you grab your link panel right here. You go to, which technically you would need to make two because you'd need to make one for your unlinked link book. I just have a lot of link books, which like we showed was leather and a linking panel. And then you're going to take, you're going to put this here. Leather, you put leather here because that's what binds the books. And then you just, you get your book right here. And we're going to call this uh, tutorial age because why not? And you pull it out and blam, you have an age. And you take it. Uh, you put it on the stand. Another thing you can do, and if if we if we had any crystal, I would show you. You can actually basically make portals for these, and we'll get into that in a bit. There's a lot of things we'll get into in a bit. <laughs> and to travel to an age, you just open the book and you click. Boop. And this is gonna take a second to load. Blah. This is your first age. Well, not but this this age specifically is not, but you can see how things could get a little weird with it. Because uh, it basically just applies a bunch of random properties. I don't even think we have a sun or a moon. And it's raining. Anyway, so the first thing we want to do, and that's why these maps come in handy. Is it this one? I'm trying to figure out, what did I set my waypoint button to? B? Aha! It's apparently it's the divide on the numpad. <laughs> We're going to call this one home. As you can see, we've set a lot of them. And we're going to put our book stand here with our link book. And so what this basically, this waypoint lets you know exactly where you can go to go home. Ooh, weakness. That's, that's not fun. Alright, and the first thing you want to do when you get to an age is find the library. There's usually two libraries, and they can be within... The first one is within 250 blocks of spawn, and the other one is within 500 blocks of spawn, and they won't necessarily be right next to each other. Uh, so we're going to find that. Now the way I do it, and it, it takes longer, you may want to build up so like some machines so you have a... So you have like a, a jetpack or something, or something that lets you go a little faster. The way I do it is I generally I go out in one direction until I get about 250 out, which is another thing, which is another reason the waypoints are pretty damn awesome. Until I get about 250 to 300 out, and then I come back through and I make, I make like a little circle. What is this? Is this lava? I don't think this is lava. Let's get a bucket. If we could get that kind of thing in a bucket. No, because we're in creative mode. Oh, and I'm not in my... Whatever. We're going to find out what that is in a bit. This is something... Like, this is what I generally make worlds for. And my old server before it crashed had a lot of these. What I do is I make empty drums. And I find worlds that have this molten stuff in it. Yeah, it's some kind of molten metal. And I basically fill those drums up. So if I ever need that stuff, I have it. Like, uh, you know, you never know when you're going to need a shit ton of whatever the fuck this is. But it comes in handy just to have it. Um, we're about... Yeah, we're about 400 out and we haven't found it yet. This is where the... Now the... Oh, I almost had a sneeze there. The... The mini-map comes in handy, because you'll be able to, unless it's hidden under a bunch of stuff, you'll be able to spot the library pretty easily. Because you can see the structure on your map. So you can see we're trying to stay about 300 blocks away. Just go in a nice... Oh, yeah, just going in a nice little circle here. 
you find a lot of random stuff when you do ages, and it's nice. Well, most of what I did when I made ages, other than finding the molten, uh, the molten metals, was also to use them to build like mining levels. If I needed a shit ton of iron, I would build an iron world, things like that. It's hard trying to keep yourself a certain distance away from everything. And you do want to come out of your... I mean, you don't want to spend the entire time looking at the mini-map just in case, like, it's covered by trees and you might miss it. But it's generally not very easy to... Or not... Yeah, it's not very easy to miss the library. It's quite difficult. Let's make sure it's not under here. Oh, here we go! Ta-da! Boop, 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 boop. Come down here. It's got a tree blocking the way. Got a zombie. Okay, and this is the library. And you'll find these pages here. And we'll be throwing these pages out just to just to clarify. Normal weather. Snowy coniferous forest biome. Very stormy. Now, in one of these corners, there's always going to be another chest. Hilltop stones. Wasteland biome. Eternal rain. Bentium ore block. Strongholds. And deadlands biomes. Boop. And there's never... I mean, sometimes I check the corners. There's never anything in these corners. Like, there's never... I've never seen a second chest. And if you want, you can always take these lecterns, which just hold the one page on them. I never do, but that's... You know, some people might want to display a page they like, like the Diamond Door page or something like that. Um, and let's see if we can maybe find the second library. As you can see here, we found the bloody heat biome. Jesus. We found... How did I get to... What the fuck just happened? Weird. Anyways. <laughs> so we found the second library, which is pretty neat. Uh, now there's nothing... The second library doesn't... Use, I don't think it's a, it, it has rarer pages. Like, I don't think... Going and finding it every time... Is gonna be the is going to be something that you need to do. I know I didn't do it for the longest time because it takes forever, but it's it's recommended if you want to build the most amount of pages or if you're looking for a specific page because, I mean, if you find more pages, it really only increases your chances of finding that page that you want. And then with our pages in hand, we go home. Now, you want to be careful. Like I said, I'm in creative mode right now, so it's obviously not a problem, but you want to be very careful because some of the ages that you'll make are incredibly dangerous. Like, it'll be night all the time, uh, sometimes you'll have weakness, things like that. So it could be very dangerous to traverse across different ages, but then they could you could find one that's like bright and sunny and filled with diamonds, so who knows. Now, you can also make your own ages. You can make one that's bright and sunny and filled with diamonds. Who knows? And we'll be detailing that probably in a separate episode where we just basically build worlds and see what comes of it. Uh, mostly because hopefully I can show you guys what a decaying world looks like because those are those are interesting so let's go ahead and get home and wrap this up <sighs> and to get home all we did was go back to the link book that we placed and we clicked on it and blam we're home it's that simple miscraft's not really that difficult to get into until you start trying to make like the perfect age once you start trying to make different ages things get a little weirder but that's something we'll showcase uh in the next episode this is basically just the basics uh thanks for watching guys let me know if you have any questions or if i did something wrong in the comments below i'll re i'll address that in the next episode and hopefully you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching bye